Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. This is going to be your weekend reading, Virgo, and it will continue on through Monday as it is a holiday. And I will be back for your Tuesday night reading. I'll be back Tuesday, okay? Just to let you know for those of you who are following me. All right, so let's get into the messages and see what's happening here for you over this weekend. And happy birthday to anyone who is having a birthday this weekend <clears throat> into Monday. Okay, let's see. Wow, what a way to start. Looks like you're getting a, a love offer coming in or a proposal of some sort. Um, it's definitely connected to love. It's definitely with love, okay? So this could be a Pisces for some of you, a water sign, Cancer, or a Scorpio, but this feels, um, it's, it's kind of like really sweet. It feels like someone maybe, um, if you're going out with someone this weekend, you could be getting asked out to go on uh, a date or to, it, it feels like a romantic invitation, a romantic proposal coming in for you this weekend, okay? So, especially on Friday, it feels like. All right, let's see what else is going on here for you, Virgo. That looks good, that looks good. <clears throat> My camera is shaking, I'm so sorry. Let me see if I can, can not do that. What else is going on for Virgo? Okay. All right. So there is uh, also something, a transition and a change happening on Friday. So major arcana. Um, let me see. There's some type of um, ending and a new beginning starting on Friday. It could have something to do with romance. Um, or a proposal somebody may be offering, a long-term relationship, or just being very romantic, asking if you want to go have a drink, or maybe coffee. Um, definitely, but there's a shift. There's some change. Like we have two horses here. So I feel like um, some type of romantic offer coming in over this weekend that's going to change everything, okay? Something that ended, and now there's some type of new beginning. Uh, let me take a look here. That's really crazy. It's interesting because it's like not a knight in white shining armor kind of energy. It's more like a gray shining armor. <laughs> Someone might be, okay, now they're just saying. Um, whoever's making this offer drives a, a gray vehicle or a silver car. <clears throat> Yes, and I'm also picking up someone, they, they, they do, there might be um, some flowers or delivery, like I'm hearing FTD flowers, um, or someone, uh, so there's a delivery perhaps, flowers with a, with a card, um, it could be for a birthday, if you have a birthday over this weekend, and um, I'm also picking up someone who like works for a living as like a driver as well, okay? <clears throat> and I'm also feeling um, a very strong like formal, formal wear, somebody wearing formal wear. So it could be a tux or someone's dressed in all black or there's someone who likes to wear all black. It could be someone who is black. But it's like someone, I, I feel like the clothing or someone who wears all black, <clears throat> or the, um, they're saying someone with black leather interior in their vehicle also. Or a white car with black leather interior or vinyl, could be vinyl. Okay, wow. This is gonna be such a shock on Friday for you, Virgo. And this right here is double Scorpio. So for some of you, this might be a Scorpio. Not all of you, but some of you. But I'm also feeling like, this is like bringing down the house. This offer that's coming in, there's definitely, look at this major arcana. There is 100%, both of these cards are change. So there is a huge shift 
a shocking change coming in on Friday that it, look at all this major arcana something that I don't feel like you're going to be expecting also Gemini energy or another Virgo um, you might also be going to um, okay they're saying uh, going to a show or a performance I'm picking up a lot of lilies so they're like somebody's name could be Lily or there's just a lot of um, uh, these flowers roses and lilies maybe somebody's going to see Guns and Roses a Guns and Roses concert or, or getting invited they're saying I'm also seeing someone going to like a sword show maybe a gun show or someone's like flexing okay um there is someone here who represents also per, so there's either a person place or a thing but i'm picking up performance or a performer definitely on friday you're getting some type of romantic uh proposal to do something or to go somewhere now if you have you might have some storms over over the weekend as well and um or you had some storms in the area and some of you um i do feel like that okay so they're just telling me there's replenishment of things that have been lost so there might be like some help coming in or some financial help or people some kind of charity or people coming in to help or that might be something you're a part of so you might be doing something like that over the weekend going somewhere to help people who either have had like lightning struck their home or a place places that are in, in uninhabitable okay i'm also feeling that uh, i see people going up to like a table getting water things like that um, so there's a connection similar something like that over this weekend happening for you okay those are two separate messages okay um let's get some clarifying cards okay we're getting a lot of water energy on the weekend again queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces okay there's definitely an energy of le a lifestyle change someone is um showing up here very determined um to make some kind of change in their life okay This is someone who was apathetic <clears throat> to uh, new beginnings in love. And, uh, I feel like this was someone who was very indifferent or they had a lot of options and they couldn't choose or they just were rejecting a love offer that kept coming in and they're rejecting other love offers or they're over this weekend they've been thinking about something and they're coming in to like formalize a relationship become exclusive or even go as far as going into um, tying the knot okay I also feel like there's someone who is abstaining from alcohol <coughs> or is pacing themselves drinking over this weekend for whatever reason um, counting their drinks And I feel like also there's going to be a conversation that you you will be having with someone where um, when you get off the phone or when you're done talking, it's like, wow, that was fast. It was short and sweet. Like, a, like there's someone, it could be a, an air sign, but you have a conversation with someone over this weekend where they get right to the point and they keep it short and sweet. So um, it's not a long, drawn out conversation. It's not a one hour two hour three hour even texts it's it's somebody might be very short in their responses over this weekend as well i don't know why you need to know that i just feel like there's a message there in regards to that i'm not really sure what exactly that's about but yeah there's definitely a connection being made on friday for sure there it's love is in the air let me tell you what starting on it starts on friday Okay, may not exactly happen on Friday, but it starts on Friday for this weekend. Or as you're listening from the time you're listening to this reading. 
there's a meeting of the minds there's a coming into agreement there's a new love start There's a very strong soulmate connection being made. Now, apart from the love thing, like I said, there may be some storms. I feel like someone is helping another person clean up after some storm damage or to assist, give some kind of assistance. I also feel like um, you might connect with someone through a friend. A friend might introduce you to someone that they know they have a connection with you might meet them somewhere i'm also picking up someone's a physician or works in the medical field there might be two people who connect that work in the medical industry as well one or two people going out or spending some time or having drinks or whatever getting together in friendship and love for sure there's definitely like the two is about partnership so there is definitely a, a love on the on the weekend here i'm seeing also someone coming into town this weekend or going into town this weekend okay just want to get one more okay so now we have the king of swords so there is gemini libra aquarius energy there All right, going to be a lot of fun, sexy time this weekend, that's for sure, with the devil. I feel like someone um, someone is, I don't know who this is, but, but and there's Capricorn energy here too. Someone is giving up alcohol this weekend, for sure, or, or any kind of drugs or substance or any kind of Mr. Brownstone energy, food, any kind of an addiction, saying no to some kind of an addiction. There may be um, an invite to go out to have drinks or something and, and someone just declines because they would rather just go have coffee. Um, they're not engaging in any kind of um, substance, that kind of fun, okay? Well, I don't know if that's fun for this person because it might, they might be at the end of the road with that or just decided um, maybe a long time ago, somebody might be sober or somebody might be in recovery or just clean and all that energy is going to be around over the weekend and um, someone says no to it. You know, they're not saying no to meeting up or connecting or having fun, but they're definitely like, I feel like for some of you, this if it's you, you might surprise yourself um, how well you do. And if it's not you and it's someone you know, there is an energy of like, this could be very shocking the way this person is changed because there's definitely a change for sure okay definitely a change for sure all right let's take a look at saturday all right virgo so saturday looks good you might be working on saturday um you look good this is your card the nine of pentacles so i feel like your your bet your your bank account is slowly building you're working you're saving i see you being very single i see you dressing real well this weekend or looking really fine looking really good got your hair done got your nails did <laughs> you know looking fly dressing well feeling good maybe you're lifting or <clears throat> been hitting the gym you're looking really good so very attractive as well and uh for those of you who are working um for some of you i do feel like um there's something that you really want to purchase, like a material item. And uh, you've, you might have been saving up for it for a while or putting money away. You may be surprised how your money has grown. You may see that over the weekend. Like your, maybe the interest has caused growth or something that you've been investing in, like it could be stocks or something like that. Where have you been putting your money in and saving? It's been building and building. And you might be deciding to take that money out over the weekend <clears throat> to pay for something or um, to just cash in. I definitely feel like you'll, you'll be doing that or uh, some kind of loan you've been waiting for perhaps or um, approval for a uh, in a financial decision. I see that this has been taking a while, but I feel like that's coming in on Saturday. I see also someone 
recovering from some kind of injury or um, maybe surgery or something along those lines. Um, someone's bandaged up. Maybe they have a cast. <clears throat> or just, excuse me, like a headache or something. And recovering, maybe a migraine. It's, it's, it's like still able to kind of do things, but not so much. But I see someone here like recovering from a previous uh, physical ailment of some sort. Okay. It's not advice. It's just something that I'm picking up here. I'm also seeing Virgo, <coughs> excuse me, that some of you have come from the bottom and made your way to the top by saving and being persevering with your finances. Um, you, if that's you, I do see that even though you're going to be able to afford something over this weekend, or there's some money coming in over this weekend, good money news. That was a long time coming. Um, but if you've always struggled with money, um, you're still going to be cutting coupons because you have that poverty mindset. Like Because you've been there, uh, and I know this isn't for everyone, but someone I'm picking up here, that because you've lived broke perhaps and now you've you're reaching financial independence or now you will find out that you're becoming very financially independent you're still gonna you're still going to be a, a little miserly with how much you spend um even though virgos tend to be people who don't overly spend um you you're gonna have like a big amount of money coming in especially on Saturday, but I feel like Saturday you're going to be like, no, I'm holding on to this. I feel a little bit of hesitation about taking the money out <clears throat> or <clears throat> spending it to buy maybe some luxuries. Like I feel like you want it, but you still, Saturday you're just kind of like, oh no, you know what? I, I want to still keep saving for long-term security. I want to still keep putting money in the bank or, um, or not letting it go. I, I kind of feel like you, you might be a little bit like, yeah, I got all this money it comes in. But then it's like, mm, mm, if I spend all this, then what will I have left? And I guess start at the beginning again. So yeah, you, you got a, a little bit of a thought process happening here. You know, look at this. I mean, it's right here in the cards for sure. You also have, um, again, someone making a long-term offer for to you as well it could be on the romantic front like i said there is romance here on friday but you look you're, you're looking at it could be a um another earth sign you're kind of looking at them like are is this for real you know what i mean like i don't know you're kind of doubting it i see it could be um another a different person from this romance offer that comes in it could be somebody else who, and you're just like, you're not sure. Um, they buy you a gift. Like there's a gift coming in as well for you, especially if you have a birthday on Saturday. There's uh, someone buys you a present or a gift, someone that has a, a, a lot of money or de can afford to buy you something really nice. <clears throat> um, but I, I kind of get a sense like you don't, tr I don't know if you don't trust it, you're hesitant to accept it the gift that comes in. It is definitely going to be a gift coming in, but you're hesitant. Okay. Mm. For some of you, this is like a marriage offer. Yeah. You have a lot of hesitation. I don't know if you don't trust it or because maybe something took too long or someone took such a long time and now they're, they're making this offer. Hmm. If this, if this is someone that you were married to, um, that you're in separation with, I feel like this person is really um, regretful and remorseful. That's why it's not a very deep romantic offer. I'm not seeing any cup energy here on Saturday. It feels more like either they get you a really nice gift, they're really sorry about something, um, they get you a nice gift, they offer to pay for something for you out of regret, remorse, that kind of thing, out of a feeling of loss or uncertainty about a relationship, whether you're married to them or not. It could have been someone that you were in a, something, con, a contracted kind of relationship or long-term type of thing. Um, they have a lot of regret and remorse. They don't know really, 
they don't they 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 don't really think that the relationship can get back to the two of cups here but they're going to try they want to tr they want to try to have that you know union they have a lot of grief about it though okay um now, I do see someone standing on a beach over this weekend, that's for sure. Looking out at the horizon and the waves, watching the ships go by. <laughs> Sitting on the dock of the bay, maybe, some of you, over this weekend, having a, having a beer, having a drink, looking out at the sea. Some of you um, going through this weekend, like, there's got to be more out there. There's definitely, some of you waiting for communication from someone also are wondering if someone has blocked you. Or a, there's a decision that might have been put out, and this is an energy of waiting for someone to make up their mind. There might be a stalemate situation here. I feel like this weekend you're still waiting to hear back on a decision that's being made. Or it, whether it's from a person, place, or thing, or the universe, it's still kind of like you have to be patient, I feel. Could have something to do with travel, could have something to do with financial plans or commerce, that kind of thing. It could also have something to do with someone um, relationship-wise that maybe something where you're not sure if another person wants to be with you or not. Some of you may have thought that you and another person were going to end up married one day and it's kind of a stalemate there's a little bit of grief feeling or loss over this weekend um and you don't know what's going on you're just kind of like staring at the wall like you haven't heard anything and for some of you uh, there is taurus energy also for some of you i do feel like be patient because i feel like you're going to hear something back over this weekend um, with a romantic offer and something with a long-term offer coming in from someone. Like, in other words, if this, if it was a question about a committed relationship and something like was got lost or the relationship got lost or it didn't work out or there's a feeling of sadness and grief, I'm telling you, I, I feel like the, the decision is getting made. There's going to be, I will say this, they give me the word compromise. There's a compromise that's going to be made. I'm not exactly sure what the compromise is that needs to be made. It could have something to do with distance, if there's a long distance relationship. You'll hear, you will hear over this weekend, okay? Um, actually, you might hear something on the second, okay? So I know that some of you have birthdays, you know, today, August 31st, happy birthday could happen. You also have September 1st, the 2nd, the 3rd, and the 4th. So the 2nd or the 3rd, for sure, I do feel like you're going to hear something back from someone. Now let's take a look at Sunday, the 3rd. You've got justice. Okay, so if you have a legal issue, some kind of a legal issue or a court thing going on, um... Whenever that resolves, it could, it could, res um, they're telling me September 11th, um, seeing a judge, I feel like it's going to go in your favor. So if there's a court, civil court, um, anything to do with marriage or business, legal or anything like that, I mean, I feel like you're going to have to wait, obviously, over the weekend. You'll hear something by the 11th of September where I feel like it's going to be in your favor. Yeah, the gavel is definitely going to smash in your favor. Okay, so there's there's going to be also some new, I'm hearing some new documents that you're going to have to sign. Okay, so that's going to happen next week. There will be some new documents to sign. I'm also hearing um, somebody, they're saying, this is strange, somebody's bone like the bone in their body is going to heal up nice whatever that means um it might have something to do from um oh bone and now they're also saying like stitches or staples um, from a surgery is going to be okay or you might be going in next week to have them removed 
everything's going to be fine. And I'm hearing, I don't usually give health advice, but they're just telling me, like medical advice, but they're just saying to me that um, everything is going to heal nicely, I'm also hearing. And um, some of you may be making plans or thinking over this weekend about a surgery or getting some type of a surgery or a procedure and researching to see whether your insurance is going to cover it or if how much it's going to cost. Okay, um, you will get the clarity over the weekend. Um, I feel like if you're doing some research or trying to find out, that information is pretty much going to come to you and you'll be able to go on to the next step from this weekend. Okay. <laughs> There's the Ace of Cups. So you've got two aces, especially on Sunday. So there is, um, oh, the universe is bringing you love. The blessing, the realization of the blessing on Sunday, okay? Um, there also might be, for some of you, you might be attending um, a baby shower or meeting the baby or finding out about a pregnancy on Sunday. There could also be um, finding out about a wedding or a marriage on Sunday, or um, there could be a baptism or a bar mitzvah or some type of ceremony. There's definitely uh, either attending or finding out about a ceremony um, that is a blessing. Um, that you might even be invited to, you might hear, so you might get an invitation, handwritten, or a letter in the mail, or like where you have to RSVP, very formal, something coming in as well, you're invited, or you may have already received it, and you're going on Sunday, okay, so that energy is definitely playing out. Some of you are going to say, no, you can't go because you're working. Some of you do have to work on Sunday, okay. Um, I do see um, there's a Virgo here who's working on some crafts or some kind of um, creating something on Sunday, working on some type of craft. Uh, I'm also seeing someone decorate pies. I guess decorating pies or baking cookies or making some type of food for someone, either for, for sale, like you might be one of those people that bakes at home and you bake cookies or cakes or pastries and bakery goods or um goodness or um you make meals for people it could be starting you're doing that on sunday it's like a lot you know like there's people who prepare meals for the elderly or um their, their mom and their dad or something helping assisting you, you might make money at that if, if you don't um <laughs> that might be a nice little side hustle for you um to make food for people who can't cook or they can't really you know for whatever reason they could be disabled or they could be elderly um you could be doing it for some family members or friends to help out for others it could be um, making that money and so if you're gonna you might some of this might be some kind of an idea like new idea part of a new idea that you come to you know of course the holidays are going to be starting real soon so if you're going to do that obviously you could probably make a lot of money i feel like if that's the case you might look into what the legalities are in regards to that anything that you're creating anything you're making um look at the tax laws look at the legalities if you're especially dealing with food take a look and see what the regulations are for selling food if you're going to make a business out of it because i really feel like you're going to do really well with that um you could do it for parties or you could do it for weddings or you know anything everybody loves a good dish of cookies right <laughs> something um but it's very creative so kind of somewhere along the lines of crumble but like kind of your own type of um specialty or your own kind of idea so sunday sunday really looks like it's like a day of creation i kind of like it and it's like good news a lot of good news coming in let's see what else okay you've got a king of wands showing up on sunday this is aries leo sagittarius who wants to sleep with you <laughs> i'm a 10 year old <laughs> Yeah, they want to get in bed with you. There's no doubt. It could be an Aries. Um, 
Some of you might find out about a funeral, about a, a very elderly person that has passed, okay? Um, or you might meet someone <laughs> at a funeral, okay? <laughs> this is like someone, this is, I'm, I'm picking up like great-grandfather or, or grandfather or uh, like this person. It's not for all of you. Don't worry if your father's still alive. I'm not predicting death. This is more about news. And I feel like this King of Wands is going to give you this information. If it's not that, and that's a very, like, like 1% of you, there also could be um, uh, some news about an elderly person that I'm picking up who is um, recovering well in the hospital from something or is on their rest, they're resting in bed as well. Um, I feel like the King of Wands is going to tell you about this masculine or feminine energy. Also, <laughs> this is strange, but um, okay, this is a very strange message. It's either you or another person. Um, I'm hearing someone. I'm hearing a king of wands tells, <laughs> you're going to laugh at me, but whatever, it's not my message. I'm hearing a king of wands tells like a child um, or a teenager, this is bizarre, that Santa Claus is not real. Um, and maybe that's why it's bizarre, because it, it's not like, a, not like a toddler. It's more like a, um, a teenager who still believes in Santa. This is such a bizarre message. Um, there may be a discussion like, okay, I think it's time to let them know. Um, or they could be like 11 or 12. It's it's on kind of far. Um, it kind of comes out um, when, it, when, when this kid goes to bed or something along those lines. Like it's brought out into the open. Like the telling, you know, hey, guess what? I hate to bust your bubble, but the Easter Bunny and Santa and unicorns are not real. You know, there, there's like a little bit of that coming out on Sunday. Um, that's a bizarre message. I, I, I don't know what to really think about that. Uh, yeah, uh, we are the ones who buy your gifts. <laughs> we are the Easter Bunny. We are the Tooth Fairy. Okay, so it's it's definitely someone, um, I'm not going to say a toddler. I don't feel it's a toddler. It, not even so much a child. It feels more like someone who's a youth. But I, I also feel like... Um, you're going to hear, you or another person is going to hear back from that youth and is going to say, yeah, I already knew that. <laughs> I already knew that you bought my gifts. <laughs> Why were they such shitty gifts? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so that's a, that's a weird message. I don't usually get messages like that, but that's pretty funny. And then everybody's like happily ever after. Yay. We knew you knew. Okay. <laughs> Um, Virgo, you're going to be married. I'm telling you that. Or live happily ever after with someone. It could be an Aquarius. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, another Virgo. But, <laughs> I mean, there's a whole new adventure beginning here happening for you. Uh, Sunday is, I, I don't know that it's like for real like that. Yeah, I do feel like this weekend is an offer. Definitely. There's a Virgo here. A Virgo and an Aquarius. <coughs> But there's, there's, this is the Sunday's going to be the start of a brand new beginning for you. That's really what I feel. I can't wait in, to do um, the weekly reading next week to see how things are playing out. But I'm telling you, Virgo, some of you are, have been thinking long and hard about just quitting your job or quitting your jobs and just traveling the world. Some of you have been kind of pondering that, but it, the decision to do it isn't so much about whether that's the right or wrong thing to do or whether you can or can't do it. It's more about, can I afford to? Um, and I feel like there's this looking at the money situation and really reflecting. Like Some of you want to climb Mount Everest if you haven't done it yet, or you want to do it again. You want to do one of, like there's some kind of bold Sunday feels to me here like you're, that's something you're going to be contemplating. Like, what can I do when I go travel? Where can I go? Where do I? What do I want to see? Do I want to go to Tibet? 
you know, a place that you've never been. And really kind of, you might be on your computer over this weekend looking at looking up places that you haven't been to that you would like to travel with someone, maybe a partner, um, or go visit someone where they live or visit someone's family or home um, or, and or vice versa. There, there's definitely an energy of, um, you know, home, home is where you hang your hat. And I kind of feel like you're pretty much like, oh, I can make a home anywhere. I can go anywhere. I can be anywhere. I can start a new life anywhere. Where do I want to go? And who do I want to go with and, and start that life with? There's a lot of contemplation about freeing yourself, taking a leap of faith on Sunday. And like I said, it's not so much... It's not so much that you lack the faith here. It's it's more so much, as in Virgo fashion, it's more like, can I afford it? And where's all my money going to be? And where am I going to put it? And how, how much do I have to spend? How much do I have to live on when I do this? It's more about your finances than anything else. Just making sure all of your, all of your ducks are in a row, all of your pennies are accounted for before taking such a bold move because it feels like a bold move that you're contemplating on Sunday. Yeah, there you go. Travel in the world. It might be communication over the internet or on the World Wide Web or virtual communication with someone. You know, about ending a chapter and starting all over again and starting new and going into a whole new world. Like that Disney song. Look at this. The passions, the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> a lot of a lot of go and go get go getedness chasing after your passions and dreams, a lot of contemplation and thinking, a, a lot of maybe I should stop thinking so much and just go, just jump, just be spontaneous. And just, you know, be a trailblazer. Look at this. Some of you are going to Egypt, or thinking about going to see the pyramids. I mean, I know Egypt's not the only place that has pyramids. I know they're all over the world. But wherever they are, um, or climbing some mountains, um, and traveling, big travel vibes, and somewhere warm as well. Maybe wanting to go somewhere warm or relocate to a very sunny area, a dry desert heat. If you already live there, um, some of you may be deciding to get out of there, get away from this dry desert heat, this warm heat. And it also could be another person making this change if they're in that area. Um, where that resonates for you, this person um, coming to be a part of your world or um, creating a whole new world together. Beautiful. Like y'all are going to build planets and shit. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like there's someone here, either you or this person, could be a Leo as well, Taurus again, Aquarius, uh, Scorpio. Um, this person, so if it's somebody else, they're running away, they're escaping. They're cutting everybody off and coming your way. And uh, if it's you, Virgo, I think you come to this place on Sunday where you just, they're like, F it, I'm just going to do it. What have I got to lose? I'll just put all my money where I need to put it, and I'll just take this giant spontaneous leap of faith and just do it. I mean, I only live once, right? And I got to give it a shot. There's, there's this hot fire under your ass, Virgo, that just keeps tugging at you. It's lighting you up, and you keep trying to put it out. And it looks like Sunday, you definitely come to this place where you don't, what have I got to lose, right? So you, it looks, I, I don't really see like you actually make the decision. I just feel like you just do it. You know, you just do it. I, I don't, I don't ever feel like a spontaneous action is a, is a decision that's made. It's just something that happens, you know, because I think if you're going to make a decision about something spontaneous, then you're, you're calculating that decision. No, this is like you just stand there and you just automatically drop everything and you go. No decision. So Sunday, you know, like the whole weekend looks very reflective, but it looks like there's a lot going on. And just keep in mind that some of these messages may resonate for you. They really might. And you might come back next week and be like, holy shit, that happened. And if that is true for you and these things did happen for you, do leave me comments because I, I really need to know. And if, if it doesn't, it's fine because there's always next weekend and the energy is always fluid, right? So just keep coming back. That's all I have to say. So I'm going to leave that there for you. I tried to give you was like the most spiritual, divinely intuitive messages I could give for this weekend. I'm going to be gone 
until I'll be back um, for your, your reading on Tuesday. I'll try to upload a little earlier. But um, I hope you guys have a fantastic Labor Day weekend and that you are safe um, if you're out driving and that you have fun, even if you're working. I hope you have fun at work. Just live happy, make good choices. Be happy, love yourself, love others. And we'll see you all back here on Tuesday. Um, love you. Bye. My heart.